What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm really excited because I'm bringing you guys a deck that I've had a lot of fun playing recently and that is Pile Assault Mode. Now for anyone who's not familiar with what a Pile deck is, it's essentially a deck that plays a bunch of good engines and just makes it work. The most recent YCS winner actually just did that and that's essentially what this deck is with a little twist because we are going to be playing the Assault Mode engine in the Assault Mode package which is really really fun. Now if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun looking at this. It's very different and I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun playing it as well so I think you guys should try it out yourselves and with that onto the deck profile. Okay, so to start the deck profile, of course, we're going to be starting off with the main boy himself, the Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. Now, this card is insanely powerful. It's just an Omni Negate. And on top of that, if it's destroyed, somehow it gets destroyed. Essentially, you get to summon back the Stardust that's in your graveyard that was used to make this card. So it's probably very powerful because it has an Omni Negate, of course, but it also has that little floating effect as well. Then we're playing Triple Psy Reflector. This card's insanely powerful. It's kind of how you get your entire combo started. This card by itself is pretty much just a one card combo, and that's why you really want to max out on these. Then, of course, you're playing one Assault Beast. You only need one. You don't want to break on this card. Then for the next engine, we're playing the Adventure Engine. This engine is just way too powerful to not play in today's format. So of course we're playing triple water enchantress and one wandering griffin this engine is just way too powerful starting off because if you start your combos off with this engine you're guaranteed for your psi reflector Hulk, and all that other stuff to go off and that's why it's really important to be playing this engine because it just guarantees all you the rest of your combos right then of course we're playing the dpe package so one dasher as well as one celestial and then we're playing one despot 001 and one colt wing this is just for the combo you need these two cards as well then we have just a bunch of space and i was thinking hey we want to go first with this deck always of course but do we want to play traps or do we want to play hand traps well i think in today's format hand traps are just a little bit more powerful so we are playing triple ash blossom triple ghost ogre and then triple lancia these are just some of the best hand traps in today's format of course ash is just always generically good but ghost ogre and lancia in today's format are insanely insanely powerful lancia and ogre both stop the adventure package and then of course if you're thinking about stuff like pk if you think about other pile decks there's just so many different decks that these two cards are just so powerful against so i decided to to max out essentially on the best hand traps of today's format so yeah so triple ghost ogre triple lancia here as well then of course we're playing the triple right of artemisia this is of course for the adventure package double fusion destiny triple e telly now e telly is very spicy of course we're playing triple e telly so that we can get into our side reflector faster because it's essentially six copies of our side reflector however the nice thing about e telly is if you already have a Psy Reflector or you can already combo without the E-Telly, essentially what you can just end up doing is set the E-Telly on your opponent's turn, summon the Ghost Ogre off of E-Telly. And why that's really good is because unlike the other hand traps, Ghost Ogre can obviously activate from hand, but you can also trigger its effect on the field. So essentially just using an E-Telly for a Ghost Ogre is another form of disruption. So that's why you, of course you're gonna be maxing out on E-Telly. Then we're playing one Journey of Destiny. Oh, I should put this over here. Yeah, one Journey of Destiny and one Draco back. Of course, this is all for the adventure package. So yeah sorry about that but yeah so we're playing the full adventure package and then we're playing triple living fossil this is actually part of your combo because in your combo you search it out with your power tool dragon now the nice thing is with power tool dragon is if you already draw into your living fossil you could just skip the power tool step or you could use the power tool step reveal the other two living fossils as well as a draco back and then at least this way you have a chance of getting a draco back to your hand outside of the adventure engine itself or you just get a second living fossil for a follow-up turn or whatnot. So you still want to play the three no matter what, but if you draw one, of course, you're guaranteed for your combo to go off always. Then one called by the grave, just a little bit more additive protection. And then triple imperm. Imperm, again, is just a really, really powerful hand trap in today's format, and that's why we're going to be playing it. And then, of course, one assault mode activate because you need this for part of your combo. Now, this deck, again, you guys can see it's all over the place. Like, there's not one specific archetype you're playing, and this is why they literally call it pile decks because it's just a pile of engines and that's what this is now the really nice thing about this deck is if you guys haven't watched the combo video or the duel i don't know if that's going to be out before this video or after this video so if it's already out go check that out if it's not already out stay tuned because that will be coming out but essentially this end board always is going to end on a stardust dragon assault mode a boral load savage dragon which is two omni negates at the minimum okay and then obviously you can keep extending if you have your adventure package you can have an adventure griffin which is going to be another negate you could have your dpe which is going to be another disruption so sometimes you can put up four to five disruptions in this deck and it's very very powerful and that's why you really want to be playing all these like different mini engines and all of them work well together 
and that's why it's so strong. Now you guys might be wondering, okay, with the Rite of Artemisia and that play, I can't normal summon my Rosai Reflector and get the effect off. True, but that's why of course we're playing something like E-Teleport, because E-Teleport essentially guarantees your Sire Reflector to go off outside of your normal summon. So yeah, that's why there's just a lot of different ways you can play this deck and there's a lot of different variations, but the combos are always going to be the same. The combos are always going to put up Omni Gates and that's really, really powerful. Then of course, for the extra deck, we're playing one DPE. We're playing a bunch of the good level eight synchro. So we're playing one Savage, which is the one you always go into, but you can also play one Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. If for some reason, somehow you don't go into Stardust or you draw into your Assault Mode, because the thing is with Assault Mode is it has to summon from your deck. So if you do break and you draw into your assault mode, you can't make Stardust into assault mode. So what you have to do instead is instead of making power tool and a level one tuner into your Stardust, you just make those two into a crystal wing instead. So I just wanted to give you guys another option that you can make for your level eight. Then of course one Stardust, one Draco Berserker, just a good level eight. Then power tool, very important for the combo. Shooting riser as well is very powerful. One dragster, of course, just for another option for a negate. I decided to play one desert locust and this was more so if the Hulk combo kind of got stopped. I at least have a disruption because if you're forced to pass, let's say, right? and you have like three hand traps in your hand and your opponent stops your Hulk combo. Then what you can do is on your opponent's turn, you can just use the Hulk effect to summon the Desert Locust and then at least you have another form of disruption in that sense. So that's why I like the Desert Locust here. One Quandax, one Herald, as well as one Cupid Pitch. These are more so just used for the combo as well because they're just tuner level four, four synchros, which helps you combo, of course. And then you're playing one Aurordon, one Hulk and one Verte. Now I will say this, you can probably cut the Verte for a second Hulk of Fibrax. Now, I've been testing this deck and I think one Hulk is good enough, but again, there are those situations where your Hulk combo gets stopped and it's really nice when you have a second Hulk because this way you can essentially use the Hulk combo again on your next turn. However, I really do like the Verite because sometimes you can just straight up make the Verite and then make your DPE that way because otherwise you have to hard draw into your Fusion Destiny, right? But I don't know, it's really up to you if you wanted to play two Hulk or one Verite, one Hulk, or maybe you can get something else for a second Hulk. That's just another option I wanted to bring to you guys. But that's really it for the deck profile. Like, it's very fun. You guys can see, I, I okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe it doesn't seem fun because you're just playing a bunch of good engines and hand traps, which is kind of not fun in terms of interactive gameplay. But it is fun because you do get to summon and start a Dragon Assault mode, which is technically not meta. And this is really fun and really cool. And it's very different. And so, yeah, this deck is fun. Trust me, it's fun. It's very fun to play. So, yeah, this is really it for the deck profile. I really hope you guys try it out yourselves and you guys are going to see how fun this deck is to play. So that is it for today's deck profile. Hope you guys did enjoy. Now, this deck, honestly, was kind of like built randomly on stream. And I was like, okay, this is really, really fun. Let's see how much we can refine it. So this is the refined version. This build is really, really fun. It's really, really powerful as well. Don't sleep on this deck. Don't think just because we're playing Assault Mode that this deck can't compete. And Itali being at three just makes this deck hyper consistent. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you did. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.